my name is Chloe. Today I'm going to be talking about what is in the park. Well, at a park, there's lots of things to do. Let's just say, what's a park first? A park is a place where it contains trees, benches, and lots of people there rest, resting or waiting with somebody to maybe um, if they're meeting somebody, they'll also meet in the park, even dating. <laughs> yes. It's just in the park. In the park, there's lots of things to do. There's also lots of objects inside the park. So let's look. First is a path. No, a lots of path. Well, look around you. Inside, maybe, your daily life. Where you're going to school, or maybe, there would usually be a path. Ready to go, like even in places where it's in the jungle or whatever. Let me open up my drawing tool. I always need to draw in this moon. Okay, I'm going to add in some dots. You know, some grid. Okay, so I'm going to draw like this is the school something. Then maybe, and then the way where you go from your home to your school is always a path. The way where you go from your home to your school is a path. A path can be straight like this. A path can be big and straight, made out of rocks. It can be made out of plastic or metal, or the path can be curly like this. The path can also be really curvy. Like this. Yes, the path can be also really small. Yes, so that's what the path is. Also in the park, do you see the way that people walk, the people jog to take exercise? Those are paths. Yes, next is grass. I think all of you know what grass is, so I don't want to talk about it. Next is flowers. You know what are flowers, right? Trees too. Next is a fountain in some big park. Like maybe in the United States, in the middle, in the center of the park, there is sometimes a fountain. You know what is a fountain? It's kind of like a bowl, and then they will put in water, and whenever the water comes up, whoosh, it would make down a water like this. And this looks really beautiful. And we we'll use that water again, and when they know there's dirty water, or the water have been used for too much time, they would take out those water like after the day and then they would change into some others or wipe it for tomorrow's use. Yes. Next is the garbage can. Don't litter outside there. Use the garbage can. Okay. So, there's a lot of people in the park. The park can be a place for you to have a quiet time to study or to work. I don't know. A perfect place for you to sit there and relax. A perfect place for you to go there and play. A perfect place for you to go there and do exercise. Sometimes in some parks, they also have exercising things like those ones that helps you to walk. Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> Sometimes there's places for you to rest after a long journey. Yes. So that's what in the park is. There's a lot of things that you must and mustn't do in the park. First, you must take care of the flowers and the trees there. Don't cut it or don't pick it. It's bad to pick the flowers there because those people in that 
take care of the park are all person, but those person that actually would give great care, like plant flowers on it, would probably take a lot of work. You think just drawing a flower can be really hard? What about drawing a whole bunch of flowers? For me, it's kind of hard to draw a flower. <laughs> yes, it's just it. And then you shouldn't. You mustn't throw the litter out too. It's bad. You must also take care of the park because it's a public place. Yes. Hmm. There's something really fun. Hmm, that looks cool. I can play it with these. Oh, it looks completely. <laughs> yes, I still didn't find out. Sorry, but let's just say in a park there's a lots of things to do. Like look, you can relax there. You can sit there and do your work. You can sit there and spend your time with your family members, like your sister or even your mother. So enjoy having fun in the park.